shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Back today with the second in our line of Iconic series. So what I plan to do with my Iconic series is take Iconic bags, backpacks, all of those sort of things that for me in, in the EDC world have in my opinion reached an iconic kind of status so I started before with the Rush series rather than just one of the Rush packs although we did look at the Rush 12 um, the Rush series from uh, 511 Tactical for me have you know reached that iconic almost legendary kind of status the one that we are here to look at today is the one bag from East Pack. Now this is something that I have reviewed before, I made some content on this. In fact, it was one of the first pieces of content that I made. I went out into the moorlands, uh, it's where the now international standard how many cans of monster energy drink can you fit it um, capacity standard um, has been used. And I, 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 I looked at this one. This bag is possibly the bag that has done the most air miles out of all of the bags that I've owned um, which you know we'll, we'll, ha we'll have a look at as part of this piece of content uh, but this now is uh, this has been passed down to my daughter Adelheide um, as a parent or as yeah as a parent you know there's one thing that you can test it's a, a good rule of thumb if you want to test the durability of something give it to one of your children and they will test its durability so this is the one that I've traveled a lot with and been to many world destinations with but I have given that pass that down to Adelheid uh, and now I have my own I think it's called the cactus green version uh, so this is what we will have a look at today now I have been meaning for quite some time to make a follow-up piece of content on this and it just dawned on me that this is something that I need to add to that iconic lineup, the iconic series uh, that I've started to create. This single bag is one of the bags that I've recommended the most. It's possibly the bag that I have used the most when it comes to just being able to put your EDC ev everyday essentials into something to grab, to get out. Um, it's very ver versatile in the way that you can use this and this is the one, quite luckily, um, that you know I put a lot of trust into. It does move away from that kind of military tactical kind of style that I do like and a lot of EDC audience do like um, but it still keeps a lot of the properties that you get from those sort of backpacks, those sort of satchels, those sort of bags in more of a fashion brand um, like East Pack. So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so you can just get a bit of a closer look to this. If this is your first time on the channel, please feel free to hit, to, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you're back from previous videos or you've watched this one and thought you'd have watched the, uh, the, the follow-up, then it, if you'd like to subscribe, that, 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 would, that would be awesome. But now let's get this turned around and have a look at the one, this one. Dimension wise, it comes in 21 centimeters by 16 centimeters by five and a half centimeters deep. Now, according to the Eastpac website, that is about two and a half liters, which you're gonna struggle to get two and a half liters into this. By my maths, 21 times 16 by five and a half is about 1800. So it's about you know 700, lit 700 milliliters less than it should be. I guess they might include these front pockets in the back pocket, but you know it is what it is. Construction-wise, it's made from nylon, so it's similar to a Cordura-style fabric, um, just without that Cordura name tag. If I was to hazard a guess. It probably around about a 500D style Cordura equivalent um, in the, 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 ni the nylon that you get with this. As I mentioned, it's not Cordura, it will be Eastpac's own nylon, however they make it. 
There is a coating to this. It doesn't specifically say on the website what it is. I'm guessing it will be some sort of Teflon or maybe uh, DWR coating so that if you were to get this wet, then water does bead off it. The front pocket here, if you need to put anything that is valuable in there that you definitely don't want to get wet, um, as you're all aware, you know, zips, no matter what, apart from maybe some of the more AquaGuard zips, tend to let water in so there is quite a large rain hood that you can put into here um, and I've been in situations where I put stuff in here and you know it, it, it's, it's kept it safe. Around the pack as we'll go around it so on the bottom the bottom is completely flush so are the sides on the front you have uh, an East Pack logo this is a, some people love it, some people like it, uh, some people hate it, some people really just don't want it on there, but I think it's, it's okay for what it is. You have all of the zips are YKK zips. They have their own East Pack logo on the zips, but if you open the pack underneath, you can see here that they are YKK zips. And all of the zips, um, apart from the one on the back which we'll have a look at, have these little pulls on there, it's a bit of nylon um, accessory cord and it does have sewn into it, it has a, um, a reflective strip so it does make it a little bit easier to see in the dark if you were on the roads with this. Obviously it doesn't scream out that, you know, don't run me over. Uh, but in this pocket, so it's really useful if you've got things like first aid kits, if you've got a small one. What I've also kept on the inside here is, is the warranty that you get with this. And this is another one of those reasons that I think this has reached that iconic kind of, you know, it's, it's a great kind of thing to have. Um, and what you get is a 30 year limited warranty with this. It gives you details on here, but if you have any issues with the construction, rather than down to wear and tear, um, then you can contact East Pack and they will, you know, they'll sort that out for you. Then we get on to the main compartment. So it's ambi open, you have two zips, again YKK zips. This opens up into a large pocket that is from the top, so you get that full 21 centimeters by 16 centimeters across. In here, you know, it's 2021, so you can keep your masks in there. I also keep a small little slip to put my EDC stuff into. Uh, and then there's a lighter because although I don't smoke, these do come in handy. It's all lined, so this front pocket here creates a lining on the inside, but what they've done is they've continued that lining up to the top. There is also a back pocket on the back here, which is also lined, they continue that lining up to the top. And the back pocket also then has on the inside, there is an additional pocket in here, just in case you need to keep things separate from other things, maybe a mobile phone to make sure that that doesn't get scratched or anything, you can put that on this inside pocket as well. I do put a lot of things in that inside pocket actually, it's, it's, it's a lot more use um, than generally the outside pockets. This outside pocket's great, the rain hood is a blessing kind of, but also a bit of a hindrance because sometimes it's hard to get things out of there. Personally, I'd kind of prefer to have that, it just means that everything's extra safe. Then on the back here, there is another zip pocket if you need to keep things a little bit more discreet in there. So as you can see, I've got my wallet in there, um, then you can keep that safe. Also, you know, being a, a dog walker, I also have dog poo bags in there as well. Running from this side to the opposite side, you have a piece of nylon webbing with a simple slide adjuster. Now all of the, um, the buckles, all of the hardware on here, they're all steel or I guess they're steel. Um, it doesn't feel like aluminium, but yes, I'm, let's, let's go with it. They're all steel, so that they're, they're nice and tough and nice and rigid as well. And they, they, you know, if you're throwing this around or dropping it, they're not gonna break on you if, if, you, if you're worried about that. As far as adjustability and length is concerned, you know, there is a lot of length on here. If I wanted to, I can take it so that it's right down on my waist. I don't particularly prefer to hold it or carry it there. I generally prefer to have it a little bit higher up so that it's it's closer to my body and, and to, to, to be able to get to when I need to. Now as far as how does it carry, well, 
you know it's a small satchel messenger style bag it carries exactly as you'd expect you know it's only when it's empty dry the dry weight of it is 260 grams so you don't really even notice that it's there apart from when you when you touch it um, when I carry it as I mentioned I do prefer it to be a little bit higher so that I can get into it when it's on my side I like it to be there so that I can tap it so that I know it's there it reassures me so that if there's any valuables in there then you know I know I've got them and the first piece of content that I made on this pack you know I did discuss quite a bit probably at too much of a length about how it's very useful to carry something like this in European cities if you're traveling in Europe you know you will have a great time here in the UK or even on the continent there are some absolutely amazing cities and some amazing times that you'll have one of the unfortunate sides is that there is a lot of pickpocketing that shouldn't put you off please don't let that put you off but it is something that you need to be aware of and have a little bit more of a you know situational awareness having something like this as I mentioned you know I travel with this a lot but having it close to you so that you know if you need to get something it's there have it up on your chest somebody has to really close in on this position to be able to get into it now when I do travel with this I travel this with this as with with a companion bag or at least this becomes my companion bag so I'll have a rucksack on um, going through customs doing all of that sort of stuff is so much easier than going from customs back to a hotel being able to check in to have something that I can wear underneath because this small strap will go underneath a rucksack you can have that on and be able to move it round from your side to be able to 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 deal with different things and have have all of that stuff in there as well another great thing to mention is how easy this is to be able to use whilst getting in and out of a vehicle if you are conscious of having to be in situations where you might need to be able to get out of a vehicle quite quickly or even just the convenience of just not having to take stuff off every time you get into a car you know you have this on whether where it is you get in you sit down put the lap belt put the seat belt across you drive away do whatever you need to do and you can get out and it's just there because of how small it is and how convenient it is it lends itself incredibly well to that sort of stuff one of the other things that I do find is very useful for this is a little bit more grey man, a little bit more incognito. If you wear a jacket that just has a little bit more give around you, you can easily conceal this within a jacket so that you've got it on your person rather than it being outside. If somebody again does want to get to you, they do want to try and get those valuables off you it's in something that needs to be unzipped that is still can be behind you rather than at your side or you know out there for people to get that's mainly where the versatility from this comes to through you know I, like i've said quite a bit i've traveled with this i've done day trips with this i walk the dog with this you know i, I do so much with this that it is absolutely invaluable and that's one of the main reasons when it comes to EDC style bags that I've, I've recommended to other people um, you know this is one of the ones that I've recommended the most in fact this is the one the one um, that I've given I've done more giveaways for this if you've you know, followed me over the last two or three years I do a few giveaways every now and again and this one is always included in those giveaways when it comes to the summer I know it's getting into the summer because the views on this pack start to steadily increase because more people want to know about how useful this can be and again when I'm looking at the criteria on what is my next iconic pack that is the sort of thing that I go for and again for me in my own honest opinion that's what makes the one bag from EDC, uh, from EDC, sorry, uh, from East Pack, an iconic bag for me. 
Now I've mentioned uh, probably several times, I have already made some content on this, so I'll link to that at the end of this piece of content. So I do go into it a little bit more detail about what you can get from it. It's very similar to this. Uh, apart from the fact that I'd, one, I'd got longer hair, and two, I was a little bit lighter um, back then as well. But you know, such is life and lockdown. If you'd like this pack, I'll leave some affiliate links in the description below. If you choose to use those, it's at no extra cost to you. It's a small kickback that I get to the channel uh, and helps me to create more content in the future. Uh, I'll also leave some social media links in the description below as well if you want to see more from me. Uh, check me out on Instagram at morelander underscore edc and you can see more packs. Um, in fact, uh, I'm also currently testing out uh, the three day assault pack from London Bridge Trading uh, Company. So, you know, there's, there's lots of things that you'll be able to see on there from me that is upcoming in the future. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share. That would be epic. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.